All right, guys, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, so I finally, finally decided to uh, rename some soldiers, uh, except for High Noon, who will, uh, uh, I don't know who to make that person, but I think I have a good idea who to make that person. We're at X3M. We, we take ourselves very seriously at XCOM. Uh, <laughs> that's X3M right there. I uh, just I looked at random people in comments. Oh, no, welcome to Maxwell. The, uh, the fabled phone poster. Uh, <laughs> my computer broke as well. I have lots of lights pulled and Um, yeah, so he has a, he has a visor that plays Candy Crush all the time. So, uh, tragic story about Advent breaking his computer. And oh, yeah, I guess I got a Sedemic here. <laughs> oh, shit, I made these yesterday, so I, I don't remember this, these ones, so. We take ourselves very seriously at, uh, XCOM over here, as you can see. Uh, I don't know, I just figured it might as well. Uh, I was running out of ideas for characters, so I installed another, you know, little pack for that. Um, I actually didn't, uh, yet do a mission. What was I going to do? Codex? Oh no, council mission, that's right. Alright, well. I don't know if we want to bring, uh, X3M yet. Let me just remove everybody and decide. This is just a difficult mission, so B-team go. Uh, we'll actually bring along, uh, Elena, just because we don't bring her long enough. Uh, I mean, I, I could bring along a Psy Operative, but on the other hand, I'd rather not, so. Because Bluefin comes along. Who's Bluefin paired with? Like, uh, where's Bluefin? Oh, uh, there. With Gordon Freeman. Alright, sure. And, I mean, X3M could come along as our ranger, but maybe we'll bring, like, the Smeg. Alright. Mark Payne. Is Mark Payne a specialist? Okay, that works out pretty well for me. This is a good good team to go on. Uh, so now we got to make all the weapons available and stuff again. So usually I do this before... Oh, shit, don't revitalize. Apparently revitalizing, by the way, uses up a, uh, a, a Lyrium core, which I didn't quite know it would do that, but... Uh, well, I, I, I didn't do it, I just kind of checked it out on my own, kind of thing, because I was curious about that. This outfit, they really have to have, like, this kind of shit, like, is really lame. They should, we should just have, like, because I'm always putting the same thing on the same people. So, I think, if I have a complaint about this, it's the fact that, um, it really shouldn't be making me do this. Like, I don't, know, I don't know why it makes me do this. Like, I have, like, oh, well, I have the rocket launcher. Like, this this icon right here where it goes, like, beam cannon, it should be, like, heavy weapon loadout one. And then it puts on the rocket launcher, and it puts on the shred storm, because it's all I fucking have. I, I'm not going to put on anything else. It's, it would save me so much time if they did that, but no. No, instead I have to manually do it. I, can I complain more? Or, or is that enough, guys? All right, fine. All right, so, what are you? You're a... Uh, you're a shotgun, aren't you? Storm gun. Heck, like, where's my shotgun? I don't know where my shotgun is. Someone has the damn shotgun. Who has the shotgun? I put made weapons available, but now they're here now, so. There you go. And we have like a. Uh... When, when did I make a hell weave? I don't know when. That's his shotgun, or anyways. Usually I make a... Well, I don't know why I do that, because they're always the first ones in anyways. So, it's only the medics I have with, like, random, like, support thing, like Mythic Beacon. Because it's, like, the best thing. Save people who are out in the open. Uh, and names are Epsilon. But anyways, yeah. That's my one complaint about this, and I really don't actually like the, the Reaper class that much. I think it needed a bit of work. But we'll try and make it work again. I mean, to be honest, though, I don't really use it for like stealth takedown sort of thing, which is what you're kind of supposed to do. Because I don't really want <laughs> I don't want her to get revealed. It's the whole shadow thing. It's I, I think it's the, the killer for it. It's the chance to reveal. Or maybe you should be allowed like. I think if you make kill. Oh no no, they have a thing where if you get if you, they should have it so if you get kills they don't like go out of uh, stealth at all maybe or something. Because their, their weapon doesn't do a lot of damage to begin with, anyways. 
and eliminate all enemy contacts standing in our way. Menace one five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. I remember someone was trying to tell me that the she, like she was actually pretty good because of the fact that I mean Shadow. Don't get me wrong, Shadow is kind of nice because you know you get a lot of vision, but. Yeah, it's got a lot wrong with it too. Watch my back. Cause you put her first and then she doesn't like reveal anything either and things like that and uh, let's put BG bot over here somewhere. Oh shit, Elite Lancer joins us again. Also I just realized I didn't actually make him take cover. Stepping off. So, whatever. Lufa needs some good Man cover around out. here. Getting it done. Double time. I don't know. There, there's some problems I have with Reaper class, right? I guess good for concealment missions, though. Oh, it's down there. Oh, we can hack that. Who's our hacker? Mark Payne. Position confirmed. Can you see it from over there? Hoping you can. Oh, you can. I'll take a look. Let's have a look at that for a sec. Uh, soldier gains immunity from next two attacks. Oh shit! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, wait! I thought I did that one. Oh, okay. I actually was meant to do the other one. Uh, I won't lie. <laughs> uh, yeah. I also had the upgrade reminder removed, so. I was, as I said, I was messing with the mods. Alright, I actually thought I pressed uh, the first one. I actually, in, in my mind, was trying to do the first one. I didn't know I actually pressed the second. This is Iron Man. I, to be fair, though, to be fair, alright, the UI is absolutely fucking atrocious for that, so you can't really blame me. Uh, I, I am actually, I, I rarely blame things like that, but, like, what's the fucking, like, I'll show you again. I'll show you again. Like, how do you know which one you've actually pressed on? Because I, in my, I didn't think I actually clicked. Uh, well, I didn't do that one actually. I, I'm pretty sure that was green highlighted. I completely fuck. <laughs> yeah, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, there's a little bit of a glitch in uh, your monitor, so uh, I, I've, I've repaired it. You're welcome. Uh, you know, uh, it may have looked like uh, I fucked up a hack, but in actuality, um, it was uh, it was just uh, uh, it was just uh, your eyes playing tricks on you. No place for you to go now. So, luckily, luckily I fixed it. We You're very welcome. Here. You're very welcome. Um, all right. So, how the fuck do we get inside this place? How the fuck do we get inside that place? Is there like a door somewhere? All right, well, oh, uh, there's a thing over there. That's probably a good place to go. Where's the guy at? It's he's like, uh, okay, so he's on he's on that floor. So I think that's the door we want to we want to enter through. All right, Elite Lancer. Good to go. Got it moving. Well, let's see how bad it just gets fucked up. Uh, so we're not gonna hack for some reason. Uh, no, I, I just don't feel like hacking anymore. I, I feel I feel like that would give me an un unethical advantage in this game, so we're just not never gonna hack again. Yeah, how the hell can we even make it up here? All right, well. They decided that, yes, that is the door I want to go through, so it's time to block it and be general assholes. We could probably make it up there, to be honest. Let's have, uh, Gerald Ellen I go, though. I will go. There is nowhere to hide. I mean, she shouldn't be able to get caught here. Okay, yeah, uh, we're still good. Alright, what's it look like here? Well, we have a door right there, so that could be our plan. That could be our entry point instead. All right. Let's bring BG Bot over here, even though we haven't really scouted there. 
Okay, well the fact it was letting my camera move was a good sign. So I think we're still okay. Actually, we can probably just bring the entire team over here, to be honest. Tom Demara. Elite Lancer. Be free. Man. Double time. Uh now if they go down that stairwell, we're gonna be so fucked. Move, move, move. What the hell's that pink shit on his back? Is that the katana? Or did I not give him the katana? I may not have given him the katana. Because like I said, it doesn't fucking remember what I what I want to tell them. I was just bitching about it and the thing. That I have to fucking do that every time. And then I felt under pressure. Cause I for some reason decided to record it while I was <laughs> <laughs> I was outfitting the ball. I'm the most professional Let's Player out there, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I feel safe about being over there. On it. Ah, this shit actually sucks. Alright. Oh, come the fuck on. Really? Can't make it up there? The okay, Ana can kind of just go right here. I'll be swift. You can never escape my sight. Oh goody, we're gonna have to open up somewhere in here. By the way, nine turns left. BTW. Fuck this shit, honestly. We can't even make it anywhere around here. Go, go, go. We're spending our entire fucking Got turn just stealthing around. Solid copy. God, I hate stealth mechanics, but I'm just joking. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But we can see them, luckily, because of the buff of uh, Elena. Ironically, as I was hating on the, uh, uh, on the, whatever the fuck her class is, she actually ended up being very useful here. Alright. I say we blow open the door, to be honest. Well, let's get everyone inside here first. Is there any remote start options? Claymore Shrapnel. Sting. Where's remote start? Uh, we don't have any. Where? No remote start. I will reposition. I have sight beyond vision. Okay, let's get everyone inside. Go, Elite Lancer. Seriously, my people are so fucking fat. Like, they can't even get into here properly. Wait. Is this... Alright, one second. The icon was just showing like... Oh, okay. It's fine. No worries. Oh my lord. They cannot make it over here. You know what? Fuck this shit. Everyone just go. Okay. How come... How come you're not in vision, but they are? That's my question. These are the questions I ask myself. Because some of it's like red. Like they're going to get flanked, right? Running. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, he is. Actually, they're still outside of vision. Actually, no, they're totally not. Well. Luckily, Mike Lad has never loaded a game in his life. Alright. Here's the thing we have to blow this open with a grenade. Uh, well, actually, we could just stealth all the way over there, but it will definitely open up. Uh, Honestly, it's just better if we just fucking grenade the shit out of them, honestly. Just trying to debate, like, what's the fastest motive to do this. I mean, because the thing is, Elena can, can run into here. But, honestly, fuck this shit. Let's get everyone inside and then let's open up. And then we're going to just end in one turn. Where, where do we have to take them off? Okay, we don't have to take them very far. Fortunately enough for us. Holy shit, this is like fucking four floors of floors of horrors or some shit. Oh my goodness. So much shit here. Alright. I think Bluefin's positioning will be key to this, honestly. What I'm gonna say is probably not so far, but not too close either. The f How does that fucking trigger your Overwatch? Oh, because you're an idiot and going like over that way. Wow. There you go. 
Awesome. Actually, how did that... Apparently he didn't uh, set up anything. Or sorry, no, he didn't. I saw that he didn't set up anything. He's just like, just chilling there. Uh, let's go over here. Honestly, Freeman should probably have been a little bit closer, but he's out of actions now, so no, no choices on that. What the fuck? I want to go here, and he's like trying to like do like a fucking like jump or some shit. Also, you you wreck that thing. Covering now. Scanning. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah, these jerks are probably gonna join us. Hey, can Elite Lancer uh, pick up people? That's what I'm wondering. Alright, this is the time. So here's the thing. We absolutely need to actually blow this whole wall open. So can we, like, get all of this? Not if this thing is, like, being a fucking piece of shit. Oh, well, that could be good. Oh my god. Dude, I have to, like, quick save this shit. We have a rocket on him. No, we have the not rocket. This is how we have to open up. We have to open up with a plasma grate, something like this. Something that will destroy the wall. Hopefully not the guy that's inside the thing. Uh, but yeah, you know what? These are the risks we take. The VIP is secure. Wait, how are you revealed? <laughs> what? How'd she get revealed? Wait, how, how was she revealed? I need to know this. Usually she doesn't get revealed in these situations. I did some dark side lat shit right here and I need to know why. You have a good fan fire option here. 94 on that guy. Fucking elite trooper. Glorious bastard. Okay, you're gonna do... Where's your... Did I not give you the ability? What the? Where's your free fucking shot? Uh, apparently, I may not have given you the free fucking shot ability, huh? But I did this shit. <laughs> Why did that end your turn? Apparently she doesn't have that upgrade either. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is what happens when you play with the mods. You start to question if it's something you did with the mods or something else. Alright, well, I apparently just fucked her turn up because I thought she had something completely different. Um, they were fucking dead. But we need to start moving this guy now, so... This might be a... Uh, what the hell? Oh, actually, he can move himself. Okay, so we just need to kill that guy. Well, we're not going to use the katana because I'm pretty sure I didn't give him the correct one. Go, go, go! We're going to just hover beside this guy. Dodge Grace. Well, I skirted him. I think we fucking lost. <laughs> pretty sure we lost. Combat protocol. I, I think I might just throw the grenade out there and. You still have a lot of explaining to do on, on why you fucking got revealed. Oh, she got her level up. Or no, she didn't. Okay, so can this guy actually move with me now? Yeah, he can. The thing is, I actually don't want him to move right now. Alright. Good option for you would actually be to just, like, fucking go hit that guy. Go get him, Elite Lancer. This is by far the worst mission I've ever done for several reasons. Incendiary bomb? That might be really nice. Look at that shit. Frag out! Kirk is now on fire. Alright, we're kind of fucked right now, actually, to be perfectly honest.
I think we're just gonna have to lob the mimic be beacon over here somewhere. It's maybe out here. I just want to put it into like a more plausible location, but sure, you can be on fire. Alright, what do we do with this? Bombard. I'm honestly thinking we punch one of the guys that's... We can't kill this guy, but we can kill this guy who's going to be real fucking pain in the ass, so... He'll still kill for our good friends, so... Because he's going to take, take someone down. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Um... I'm thinking this, honestly. We gotta save it just in case. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Yo, who breaks through a window like that? Careful, that'll be enough. Biggest booms? What the hell? Immune to fire. Uh oh. Well, luckily that was there. Oh, good. They're idiots. Wait, don't you have the ability to blade storm? <laughs> they're okay, they're dropping their shuttle here. What's your damage now? That's pretty good damage. You know that was good. No, well, he did the thing I wanted him to do the first time, so that's that's all good. Alright, we gotta make sure Bluefin has like some proper fucking gear for next time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not shooting this, I think, right now. Let's get someone else to shoot, like, uh, Freeman. What's over there? Because he, he's constructing down. You know, I just realized something. They're right, they're just standing there watching. Oh, wow. Look how close we are. Wait, what's this? He gets another action. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you can only shoot this. Only the best. <laughs> Free action, nice. Oh, dude, do I dare, guys? Can I be so incandescent? Can I be so incandescent? What? You can't fire the sniper rifle. What? You didn't have vision here? How the fuck did you not have vision here? Oh god, I wasted a perfectly good MLG opportunity. Oh, it. whatever. He'll just stand here. It's not like Mark Payne can't handle it. Let's do this. I mean, it, w it would have been you cool. You could just use your imagination, I guess. My life is in your hands. Actually, I'm probably just going to overwatch them down. Now, I haven't really checked it out over here, but... What the fuck? Wait, who who are you overwatched? What? Who can see you? Yo, I'm scared, so... Oh, maybe it's it was the positioning he was going to... Oh, yeah, okay, I see now. Alright. You know, there's there's no one over here in that that little. Yeah, I, that's this is gonna be my luck. That's gonna be a fucking pod right there. So you know what? Not do that. Quite yet. All right, we're gonna start heading back. We're gonna Overwatch everyone to watch that thing. Thank God this mission was only somewhat difficult instead of very difficult. Just a moment. Optical sensors on Overwatch. But why do we have a shuttle just coming in here? You know, this is this is probably why I need to play an Iron Man. It's the only way I'll fucking learn. All right. I know where you are. Looks to be a flanking maneuver. Flanking maneuver. That guy got wrecked. What's this guy's plan? And you're gonna Overwatch? Yeah, we know. 
You can't see anybody. Well, luckily you can just kind of hop down and start seeing people. So what we're likely going to do is we're going to get Bubblegum Bot to draw fire. But let's see, if we, let's see if we can get a good shot off first. 91%. Well, the silver watch is removed. We got four turns, so we actually have a fair amount of time to do this, so you know what? It might not actually be a good idea just to, you know, get some kills on the way out. Volk says the I am to obey. Is over. You've said that a lot, the time for hiding is over. Not remote start, sorry. I haven't used the claymores really. Fuck. Well, I could have, guess, used it before I started this little adventure. They all have a shit ton of armor. Fuck this shit, honestly. Hit that guy. Fuck that guy up. Oh shit, we crit him too. Yo, Eleanor, Eleanor could take that actually. Where's Eleanor? I believe in you, 1 HP. Who can give me a resupply? Okay, we can go down here and we can shoot that uh, robot. A robot. I mean, I have my shotgunner there to basically finish him off if we need to. I'd rather if he does it. Dude, uh, why are Australians basically like the fucking like the memes of the the memes of the world? Uh, just wait here. Yeah, they're not bringing anyone else down. So, all right, Elite Lancer needs to escape with us. Elite Lancer needs extraction, guys. Alright, well I apologize for my poor display of uh, X coming, but yeah. Per clearly I've had a little bit too much to, to drink. Or one too many admin burgers or something along those lines. I can get there. I also should, probably should put that mod back in that shows upgrades. Oh, right, of course we need to evac him. Uh, he might be important. Elite Lancer, get out of there. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Is Elite Lancer in the photo? Yeah, what kind of photo is this if it doesn't have Elite Lancer? I like how there's a thing, uh, alarm going on and we still took the camera the picture. Yeah, I have a question for you guys. Who takes the picture? I, I actually, it might be the robot that, that the specialist has, so we can say, lore-wise, that that was the person that does it. Alright, here. After a mission like that, spirits are going to be high around here. We might have to resupply the bar. Resupply? Uh, when an enemy is revealed, there's a 33% chance to take a free overwatch shot. That's pretty good. Uh, what the hell is this? What's the other one here? Channeling field. Uh, each, every time you're targeted, part of your energy is channeled to your Illyrian phase cannon. This energy is unleashed part of your next center shot. I'm not gonna lie. This guy is out in the open. How long, do, how much does he actually get shot at? Standard shots can, do not incur recoil punches. Honestly, they suck at aim too. That's the other thing I've noticed with them. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Uh, let's see if BG Bot has uh, any upgrades. I guess the answer is no. 
Favorite Waters gets Deadeye. Ooh, that's actually pretty good for him. Okay, f first off, let's, let's fucking fix um, Bluefin, because that annoyed the hell out of me, actually. Apparently, I gave her dead. Apparently, that was uh, two separate things. Go figure. And that thing, too. I need them both. <laughs> Phantom. That could be interesting. You get like a. Do you get like any kind of bonuses? I mean, it still might be cool, actually, but not that cool. Right. Let's see, supply six, so. So we'll just continue on what we were doing last time, which I don't remember what it was. Increase region income. That could be okay. Is there something else around here that we were doing? Because for some reason this is looking oddly uh, Avenger plotting new like course. nothing is around. Guess we did everything. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You Popular support bonus. What is that? Progress against the aliens over the past uh. month, Commander. I oh, right. Ongoing efforts. It's one of my other bonuses. To further success. It's one of the ones I have on the other thing. Defeated. Wait, why does it even show us anymore? <laughs> we took them all out. All right. So, lost form may occur in any mission. Lost world. Enemy tech and psionic defense are doubled. Well, it's not like I'm going to hack anything anyways. Because <laughs> I fucking suck at it. Alright, let's see here. When a squad may put dies, the entire squad gets bonuses. Lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. That could be okay. Uh, that could be okay, too. Most of this kind of sound okay. Enemies drop additional loot items. Yeah, I remember that one being being pretty good. Alright, let's, let's remove this. Put this in. So those are the two ones we want. We can't remove contacts yet, unfortunately, because we only got one plus one. Um, could take resistance member. I mean, another gun is always good. We don't really need any more supplies, though. That's the other. Oh, we don't even need weapons research anymore, so that's gone. Um, I guess lightly wounded being sent into combat is okay. I'm, I'm assuming that that's basically like when they're tired, so when you send them in, then they basically uh, are, are sad, so. We'll do armor and vest things too, maybe there's a couple I'll want to do. Yeah, okay, we're gonna remove this one, actually we're gonna do someone joins every time. That sounds good. You are the boss. Because I don't know, I, it doesn't, like, I have two teams going, it's not like I need to send uh, the slightly wounded people in, and also I do have that other option as well. What's this one? Experimental, experimental ammo products improving ground. Improving grounds are oh, clean instantly. Okay. Well, let's go make radios then. Setting course for West Africa. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days' rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. We continue to progress in our campaign against the elders. And now. We gain new abilities as a result. Word is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. So, there's two things I really want out of this, and that is tactical ed education. Uh, ability points will match the new combat intelligence. So, let's try this out. I'm gonna bring... I was going to say one of my snipers along. One of, maybe Bluefin for that. Bluefin's like my little project now. Uh, adaptive co personal combat stims. Allows them to reuse them inde indefinitely. Oh. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, that might be worth it, actually. I don't know. It's it's something different. Avatar project we don't care about. Spear weapon upgrades, maybe. UFO defense construction. Reducing the cost of the UFO defense facility by 50%. We don't even have that. What? What is that even? The hell is that even? I Okay, listen, when I destroyed that other building I had, I didn't get any option for something like that, so I was very weirded out. Reinforced heavy armor. Oh.
reinforcing the durability of our heavy armor. Okay, sure, we'll do this one. That sounds good. We got like 20 and random scientist number five and negate soldier wounded. I don't think I care about that. Required scientist. Okay, Twanity's gonna get a bit of uh Alright, we'll do that. My kind will do whatever is needed. Um so the one thing I was gonna say is that the workshop is probably absolutely one of the wor worst things I've ever built, and I never realized how bad it was because the workshop itself is like two power. What's the maintenance cost of this building to begin with? I never realized this, but like it's fucking so dumb this thing. Because like we don't have anybody on. Because like here's the thing, each each um, uh, each worker is essentially manning one station, uh, like. Like basically, uh, they're training themselves in two stations, so they're basically like power. Like one of them has to power their own facility and things like that. I didn't actually. I, I thought about it the other day, and I was just like, "Wow, that's actually pretty bad." So, um, go figure. So we can make these things now instantly. So that's kind of nice. But I don't think we need that many like war suits or race suits at all. So I guess it was kind of a bad idea. Although we can get instantly powered weapons. Just experimental ammo takes a while. What other kind of fire weapons can we get? Blaster launcher, AI assist explosive shell launcher. Oh, that's pretty good. Skull jack and skull mining. Oh, we should probably get that one. Alright. Because that's another thing I don't bring along, is I don't do that enough either. I don't do, do skull jacking enough, and I kind of wanted to do that. Alright, well, let's build the relay. Oh, that's gonna cost some resources, though. Long live the resistance. Avenger plotting oh, shit. New okay, I did not mean to press there. That's okay. The one thing we also have to do, though, is I keep forgetting, is that people keep getting a bunch of negative stats, and then I keep forgetting to put them into here. We probably could just do some more story missions, but I was hoping just to finish this off. You for real? Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. We're going, we're going to we're going course. to our favorite market. We're just gonna sell whatever it takes to get fifty of these things. I'm sure we could just sell like the other Exo suit or whatever, the one the old ones that we don't use. AP rounds. Yeah, we don't need two of these. Like look, look how much garbage I have here. Oh, this one. This is the old one. What's the uh, other suit called? Like the EMP bomb, venom rounds, data cache, hell weave. Fuck, what was the other one called? Spider suit, that's the one. Alright, there you go. They're very interested in corpses and stuff. What can we buy here? Perception is pretty good. You can buy supplies too. Actually, we could have bought supplies. <laughs> Rush research. We'll take one of these two. The rest of these I don't think we really need. Alloys? Do we need alloys? No. Alright. Avenger plotting new course. Oh my god, can you let me actually like I'm trying to click and drag the map. And it's like, nah, you want you wanna go here. Yeah you do. You know what's up. Setting course for the East African sector. Alright, what do we do with our supplies after this though? That's a question. Plus 10 aim to soldiers aim when equipped. Well, actually, this is actually the probably one of the better things I can put on my snipers now instead of damage. Our Making more reliable and aim. During the most it's fine. Covert action. The word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. All right, what else do we want? Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if uh, bluefin. What what happened to bluefin? Why does bluefin not want to come out? Okay, bluefin dead does want to come out. Negate soldier wounded. No. I mean, I probably should, but no. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope what are we even researching now? Oh, the recovered suit. I was wondering what I'm like. What kind of story thing are we doing right now? That would be it. <laughs> wow, that's never gonna get old. <laughs> uh, yeah, aura sounds good. I, I just read aura, and I'm like, yeah, sounds good. All right, looks like Maxwell learned how to um, play a. Uh, uh, Fruit Ninja, properly. 
Sustain is good. Just like the one we found the commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function. Ah, commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid, mutine, even the species our soldiers refer to as berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the Shadow Chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. The screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. All right, there we go. We've learned that they eat us. All right, we can do this one now. Well, we're supposed to go to the other thing, but I kind of want to wait for the uh, proving ground thing to finish. Oh, never mind. Ignore. Eh. <laughs> uh, God damn it! It's horrible. Whatever. Setting course for the Arctic. Fucking cold. Alright. Um, Maxwell really wants to come along for this one. No, go away. The burger person. This is just difficult. Yeah, B team go. <laughs> Squad mate required. Alright. I'll do it next time, so remember guys. We'll be watching. <laughs>